Tamar Braxton's ex, Jeremy Robinson, just added more fuel to the fire by posting a shocking video of Tamar in tears, pleading with him to take her back after all the chaos. It seems like JR is determined to drag Tamar through the mud, and honestly, it's unnecessary. We all thought Tamar was done with him after she publicly exposed him for cheating on her with multiple women and using her money on his side pieces. Even her longtime rival Tommy Lee showed support for Tamar and slammed JR as a user. But then, to everyone's surprise, Tamar turned around and begged JR to come back. If you think that's wild, wait until you hear what JR had to say next about Tamar. It's jaw-dropping. Clearly, JR is like a nightmare that Tamar just can't wake up from because he has put her through the ringer since day one. And let's be real, it doesn't look like this mess is going to end anytime soon. They've been engaged, married, divorced, and yet, the drama keeps dragging on. Now, I'm not trying to put the blame on Tamar, but let's face it, the red flags were there from the start. Either she didn't see them, or she thought he might change. Regardless, she chose to stick by him through all the ups and downs. And here we are. Just last week, Tamar had a major meltdown after discovering that JR had allegedly cheated on her again. But hold up, it wasn't technically cheating, according to JR. Turns out they weren't even together anymore. Yup, they had secretly gotten married and then divorced without telling a soul. And that's surprising considering how quick they are to air out their dirty laundry on social media whenever drama pops off. But when they got married, they decided to keep it all hush-hush. The whole situation sounds insane. Tamar had everyone thinking they were still a couple, so when she went on social media and said, played in my face for a 25-year-old, shaking my head, took my jewelry, took me to Turks, and all along had a whole, I hate you, Jeremy Robinson. It seemed like she was accusing him of infidelity. She also let it slip that she had secretly married him after discovering that he had cheated with Tommy Lee and that he had even gone as far as eating the booty like groceries. Tamar confessed, and I married you after you ate somebody's whole booty sandwich. I'm not trying to make this a big deal. I swear it's not about y'all. It's $1,000. It's not make or break. It's the principle. Tamar continued. The point is, is that you wanted me to sit back and let you not only use my card. Let's just say it's a mix up. Okay, fine. But now it's different because you're using my card for your extracurricular activities. And let me just keep it gangster. I wouldn't even trip on that. You know what I'm saying? Wah, wah. It's not that serious. Me and your relationship status have changed. The way I see you have changed. You know what I'm saying? You outside, baby. I'm outside too. You wanted me to sit back and let you use my card. Let's just say it's a mix up. Okay? Fine. But now it's different because you're using my card for your extracurricular activities. And let me keep it real. I wouldn't even trip on that. It's not that serious. Me and your relationship status have changed. The way I see you has changed. Just like you're outside, baby, I'm outside too. Let's stop pretending like you're the last of the Mohicans. You are not. Honestly, Tamer should have kept this off the gram because it's straight up embarrassing. But things escalated when JR clapped back, calling her delusional. He revealed they had been divorced for six months and there was no reason for Tamar to be acting out like this. I'll be very clear, he stated. I've been single for the last six months. We've been trying to close one chapter and figure out how to be friends again. I've been very clear about my boundaries. Go date whoever you want. I'm going to date when I'm ready. I am emotionally unavailable to you and physically unavailable to you. JR kept on explaining. When my birthday came around, I wanted someone I considered family to be there because she's big on birthdays. I don't lead people on. I'm very direct. If anything you're doing comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved. I don't want you at my birthday plans. I don't want you in Turks and Caicos. This is not about reconciliation. We're just friends, and I'm still involved in my son's life. I'd love for you to have a relationship with my children, but not to the point where you're making up stories that aren't true. Very clear. I've been single for the last six months. We have been trying to identify what that looks like, closing one chapter and figuring out what it's like to be friends again. I've been very specific about my boundaries. I've been very specific about where we stand as friends. Go date anybody you want. I'm gonna date when I'm ready. 
I am emotionally unavailable to you and I'm physically unavailable to you. Now, birthday comes up, plans are put in place. Of course, I want someone that I consider to be family to be involved in that because if anybody knows her, she is big on birthdays. I don't leave people on. I'm very direct. Listen, if if anything that you're doing or that you want to do comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved in it at all. I don't want you to be involved in my birthday plans. I don't want you to come to Turks and Caicos. This is not a reconciliation time. Whatever you do, you're doing is because we're friends. JR also tried to clear up the drama over the Four Seasons charges, explaining, I went to New Orleans. I booked a room at the Four Seasons on Booking.com and didn't realize the card I used was tied to something we booked several months ago. No harm, no foul. It was $900. Let's not overreact. While I was in New Orleans for a funeral, I extended my stay. Then I get a call yesterday. Did you stay at the Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card there. I said, that's not possible. What are you talking about? I thought we were friends and could discuss this, but it's laughable. I wasn't with anyone. If I was, why would I hide it? He continued, cooler heads didn't prevail. And next thing I know, I'm on her story, being accused of things that are flat out not true. I have never led Tamar Braxton on, and I never will. Things got even messier when one of JR's baby mamas spilled some tea, accusing him of using Tamar to satisfy his weird fetish for black women. She said, he's got this fetish for black women so much that he often calls himself light-skinned while chocolate and tags himself as the minority within the minority. He would go out clubbing nearly every night, preying on beautiful black women. She added that he was rude, arrogant, racially insensitive, womanizing and degrading. He claims to be an ally and a protector of black women, but his actions show otherwise. She even went further to label him a colonizing predator who uses his fetish for biracial babies to boost his ego and feel accepted by the black community. The situation got so messy that even Tommy Lee backed Tamar saying JR was a manipulator who only cared about himself. People thought Tamar had finally moved on, especially because she's a Braxton. Getting involved in all this drama was beneath her. But things got even more awkward with JR's new claims that Tamar was still trying to win him back. According to insiders, JR has been telling folks he has a video of Tamar crying and begging him to take her back. Allegedly, in this video, Tamar admits the reason she called him out on social media was to get his attention and convince him to come back. Supposedly, she'd been trying to get JR's attention, but he just wasn't interested, so she staged all this drama to push him into a corner. Now, JR is reportedly flaunting this video around, bragging that he can have Tamar back whenever he wants because she's never going to truly get over him. Come on, Tamar, you're better than this. Somebody needs to remind her that she's a Braxton and deserves way more than a man who seems intent on dragging her down every chance he gets. Fans have been all over this messy situation, leaving comments like, Tamar, please, for the love of God, delete all your socials and focus on real healing. He doesn't like you. I'm sorry. Another commented, Tamar Braxton is out here acting wild over a man who was out eating another woman's behind, then quoting Bible scriptures. Just stop. This whole ordeal is just painful to watch. Tamar, you are better than this. Why are you letting this dude bring you down? So what do you all think? Is Tamar truly spiraling or is JR just desperately seeking attention? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't miss our next video for more juicy updates.